Oh my god, everyone. Hello. Ah. Welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald for the second time. Yeah, the internal battery one dried. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about that. That's just a, that's just a test file. Don't worry. It's all right. <laughs> all right. So we got Professor Birch here, right? Pretty sure he's Birch. It's been a while since I've actually played this game, to be honest. Uh. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. That totally looks like a lily pad. Someone might jump on it and it might hurt him. Get him out of there. Get him out of those marshes. <laughs> oh god. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite other our closeness, blah, blah, despite our closeness, no, we don't know everything about Pokemon. I still can't read this after years of playing this game. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Who am I? I'm a male, people. I know I said last time I was a female, but I was, uh, going through a phase there. Uh, alright. Let's do this. Ah, okay. You're Kenny, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Sure you get it. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into a world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Sweet! Pokemans! And we're in the back of a storage truck. I'm glad none of this stuff is falling on my head, because that would actually kind of hurt. But my only question is, why are we inside of a truck? Especially the storage room, like, oh my god. Hello, madam. Kenny, we're here, honey! Oh god, this is gonna suck. I'm so sorry if your ears might bleed after this. There's a dog. My dog's barking. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It is a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? Oh my god, my voice is terrible. And you get into your own room, Kenny. Let's go into... Okay, does that mean for the past, like, nine years I've been sleeping in your bed? Okay, m my innocence is ruined, as a even as a ten-year-old child. The Movers Pokemon do all the work on move of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Kenny, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Oh, God. Well, because the internal battery is run dry, we don't really need to do much. But while we're here, go on the computer for a bit. Take out the potion. There are no items. Alright. The internal battery is run dry, so no clock-based events will occur, which is actually kind of sad. I think. So, it will forever be... Uh, 2 o'clock. Always and forever. We're f frozen in time. Kenny, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Oh my god. Oh, Kenny, Kenny, come quick. Oh my god. Will you leave me alone, ma'am? Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad'll be on. And we brought you this report from in front of Petalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go introduce yourself. Alright. Okay. So, let's explore this town a little bit. Can we go up here yet? Ma'am? Um, um, um. If you go outside into Pokemon Grass, wild Pokemon will jump out. It's dangerous if you don't have your own Pokemon. How do you know I don't have my own Pokemon? Ugh. I just moved here! If you use a PC, you can store items and Pokemon. The power of science is staggering. Uh, that's not really science if you count compu- unless you count, like, engineering and computer science, uh, sir. Professor Birch spends days in his lab studying. Then he'll suddenly go out in the wild and do more research. When does Professor Birch spend time at home? Uh, that's a good question, but I wouldn't go far into his personal life. I'm not a creeper. Okay, he's gone, so... 
Sir? Uh, s s uh, sir. Hun, Professor Birch? The professor's away on field work. Ergo, he isn't here. Oh, let me explain what fieldwork is. It's to study things in the natural environment, like fields and mountains, instead of a laboratory. The professor isn't one for you doing desk work. He's the type of person who would rather go outside and experience things than read about them here. I am definitely that type of person. I like to go out and experience things rather than read about them. Especially if I could take a giant sword with me. Or a Pokemon, for that matter. A Pokemon that I'll be probably naming Rai or Sigurd. I still haven't decided. Oh, you're Kenny, our new next-door neighbor. Hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. Oh, so this is this is May we're talking about? Uh, ma'am? Or is that a sir? Hi, neighbor. Do you have your own Pokemon? That's right. I should probably give them aged voices. <laughs> uh, oh god, this is gonna be this is gonna be terrible. I hope you guys are in for another uh, round of bad let's playing a Pokemon. Ma ma'am, I'm stealing your Pokemon. Huh? Who who are you? Oh, you're Kenny. So your move is today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I, I heard about you, Kenny, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you'd be nice, Kenny, and that we could become friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I, I've just met you, Kenny. Eh heh heh. Oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Kenny, I'll catch you later. Well, aren't you nice, but you seem to have a little bit of a... a speech impediment there. Are you nervous? Am I gonna... Uh, okay, we're done here. <laughs> I mean, you got one dead. Is that like a king size? We could totally do something in that. No, no, you, you, you guys didn't hear anything. I, I didn't say anything. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I, I'm not, I'm not in that mood right now. Um, hi. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I don't know what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Ma'am, you just said I don't have any Pokemon. I want to kick you for that. Help me. Uh oh. <sighs> Sir, it's a zig, it's a zigzagoon. Hello, you over there? Please help. It's in my bag. There's a Pokeball. You all know who my toys is by this point. I will forever love Mudkip. Torchic being my second choice. Hello, ma'am. You're being challenged by a sir. Go! Now, I swear to God. I swear to God, if you are that Pokemon with a berry. No, you're not. Good. Because I've run into a Pokemon that uses a berry when its health gets low, and that just that's just so tedious for a battle, I swear. Good job, Mudkip. You tackled him like a man. Or tackled her like a man. You kind of beat her up, is all. I was in the tall grass, studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thank you a lot. Uh, thanks a lot. Oh, hi. Yeah, hi, you're Kenny. This is not a place to chat, so come by my lab later, okay? Hello. So, Kitty, I've heard so much about you from your father. Let me, I need to get my voice deeper. <clears throat> I've heard that you don't have uh, your own Pokemon yet. But by the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with aplomb. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh, yes. As thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. That's more than enough, but alright, thank you. Of course I'm going to name him. No... There was one vote Sigurd and two votes Rig. I was kind of gonna vote for Sigurd, but now I need to make the tiebreaker. Ah. Uh, I can totally name him his son Sigurd later on in the game if I do the Battle Frontier. I might. If you work on your Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Kenny, don't you think it'd be a good idea to go see May? Great, May should be happy too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. I know what it means to be a trainer. I've done it before. I've played this game already. Like, 80 times by this point. Alright. So let's see. We've got our buddy Rig here. Or Rag. Is it Rag or Rig? Hardy nature. Good. I love that nature because it doesn't affect any stat growths. I prefer to... I'm, I am a... Uh, I prefer balanced character... Balanced Pokemon in, um when I'm playing a game like this. I prefer balanced characters. Uh, let's go visit mom really quack. Li 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 really quack? Quack? Why quick or quick? I can't say anything. 
How are you doing, Kenny? You look a little tired. I think you should rest a bit. Take care, honey! Okay. She's not in my room, is that? That'd be a little bit creepy there. Huh. Okay, no, she's in the- she's not- she's in- she's in there! Oh god, no, she's not in there. Alright, Little Root Town. Let's- well, we've already talked with these people. Ma'am, what do you gotta say now that they have a Pokemon? You. You say Professor Birch, I'm so glad- okay. <laughs> Girl, I know how to do things. May? You're not May. Who are you? Well, Pokemon jump at you in the tall grass. If you want to catch Pokemon, you have to go into tall grass and search. Uh, okay. Alright, what do we got here? Who dares interrupt me? A Poochiana. Level 3 Poochiana. Nah, man. Screw you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight it. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we've got here, sir. Don't tackle. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 23 experience is actually a lot at the very beginning of the game. In fact, I think it's enough to get a level 1 Pokemon to level 3. Don't quote me on that, though. Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. Can I get you to come with me? I'm having a series of uh, burp attacks here, sorry. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs, for catching Pokemon. Here, I'd like you to have a promotional item. You guys sell balls? Never mind. Down, da, down, 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 down. Um, I can't. I'm probably gonna be beating this up uh, while I'm playing this game, but this game has the best soundtrack uh, of all the Pokemon games, in my opinion. With the exception of Heart Gold and Soul Silver, because um, I just I um, it's that's the best of the of that generation right there. I think. While I really like Platinum and all those games, I just really loved the nostalgia of uh, nostalgia of the Johto region, which I have played um, quite a few times as a little kid, and I played it after uh, playing Gen 3, yes, but my sister had um, Pokemon, Pokemon Gold, and she let me use it, and then once she left the house, uh, she let me keep it. And she did the same thing with, uh, with Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. And I never touched that game, and I have no idea why, and I actually regret it now, because now I have to play it blind. Well, not totally blind, but there's still parts of it that are going to be a little confusing, since I've only gone through the dungeons once. And my mind has been fogged by other things. Can you leave me alone, sir? Poochie and- oh my god, just leave me alone. In fact, I'll just tackle you to death. Sorry I'm speeding this up. But it's just the same Pokemon. Alright. May? No. May? You- uh... M May, please. Don't do anything stupid. I'm a little bit nervous, so let's save our game. Warning, there's a different save file that is already saved. If you save now, the other files of adventure, including items and Pokemon, will be entirely lost. Just do it. Alright, let's do this. Let's see. The Pokemon found on Route 103 include... Oh, hi, Kenny. Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you, what it, I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Wow. Uh, May, is this a Pokemon battle or is this something else? May, you slut. Stay away from me, May. Jesus Christ, she's got a Trico, right? All right. Ugh. I've seen her use um, Trico a lot more than most. I haven't seen her use Combusken a lot because I don't really choose Trico that much. I don't know why I'm not a fan of that. Wow, she's taking a huge offensive uh, move on me. Finish it with a mud slap. I've never done that. I throw mud in your face and you die. How do you feel about yourself right now? And I threw mud in your face from my... Oh my fucking god. <laughs> you took it like a man and... Oh, freaking A. I gained 69 experience. <laughs> Rig, I know you're with Freya, but Jesus Christ, I'm trying not to make this sexual, and it's just not working. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Uh, player defeated. Pokemon Trainer May. Wow, that's great, Kenny. You're pretty good. F oh my god. 
G Nintendo and Game Freak, you make my job too easy sometimes. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. Okay, it's time to head back to the lab. Ma'am? I think once we get to the lab, we're going to end the episode off there, since that'll be a good place to stop, since we've had a little bit of action. Ma'am? Kenny, over here, let's hurry home. Ugh, you, why do you gotta be so bossy? You didn't even have to wait for me. Uh, huh. You didn't even, oh god, never mind. She's just super annoying, I don't, I, ugh. I kick the sign. Screw the signs, man. I hate them all. Oh, hi, Kenny. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. may has been helping me with some research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Really? She didn't seem very experienced. Uh, she only had a lot of tort trico. A Pokédex. Right, so you're forcing me to help you here. Oh, that's that's alright, as long as I get to have some fun on the way, that's alright. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokémon and records its date in the Pokédex, why, May uh, looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh wow, Kenny, you got a Pokédex too. That's great, just like me. I've got something for you too. Obtain the balls of Pokey. It's fun to get to, uh, you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm gonna look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I need to find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Alright. Bye. Let's do this. Oh boy, ma'am. Oh, wait, Kenny! Oh god, my voice. Kenny, Kenny, did you go to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon! You got it from Professor Birch, how nice! You're your father's child, all right. You look too good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. I'll put a zip in your step. Okay, we got running shoes. Why couldn't we just run before? Am I wearing, like, flip-flops or something? Kenny, those instru came with instructions. Why do shoes need instructions? Press the B button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and race in the great outdoors. To think you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on. Go get them, honey. Okay. Um, you really want to... Are you aspiring me to be a prostitute? You told me to go get them. Oh, God. Never mind. I'm running for those prostitutes. Youngster Joey, is that you? If Pokemon get tired, take them to a Pokemon Center. There's a Pokemon Center in Oldale Town right close by. Nice. Uh, we'll go on. We'll go on a little bit more. Uh, you, you were blocking the path earlier. I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turned out they were only my own for prints. Wow. Wow. Sir, someone is stupid. Alright, what can we find here?